Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Whiteout Survival on PC using the amazing BlueStacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Whiteout Survival and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Whiteout Survival. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else mates, to start we have to launch our favorite browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to this URL I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you can see on the screen. You don't need to type anything, simply because there's a link in the video description and the first pinned comment. Once clicking on that link, we reach the site of Blue Stacks. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we are going to use to play Whiteout Survival on the PC. It is now obvious that we access some pros of preferring the emulator. Then, we are on the way to proceed to download the Whiteout Survival by simply clicking on the button play on blue stacks that you can see here in green. Next step is clicking on it. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Here it is, here is located the download. It's an executable file. What we have to do is to run the installer, so we need to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the computer. We have clicked yes. I minimize the web browser to find the installer considerably better. The installation software is very simple to use. It is made up of a couple of options, install and setup path. I will explain what setup path does. We simply simply click on it. And then we note that we get here the path where in fact the emulator can be set up. If we have to vary this directory we must click on the browse button, therefore we opt for another folder and set up the emulator where we choose. I am going to leave it by default. Then, I click on back. And therefore I simply click on install. Great, the installation commences and it's going to progress together with the download of all these MB that are displayed on the screen. At the time you save it on your machine, it could possibly be a little bit more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed may go at a higher speed or slower, determined by your type of access to the web and according to the data transfer rate of the emulator servers. Today they are going super fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage. 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator has actually been started instantly. As you can discover, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar which will fill up and once it actually reaches the end, the emulator will be launched for the first time. The reality is the emulator was already started, there for the first time. Before we keep going, as you can discover, it has made two app icons right here on the PC desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks Multi Instance. Note that the BlueStacks icon is going to be the one we're concerned about. When we desire to launch Whiteout Survival on our desktop or laptop, we twice mouse click on that app icon and therefore start the emulator. The BlueStacks Multi Instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved Multi Instance Manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we conduct the next step, which is actually a must-have, and that's to begin to browse the Google Play Store. To achieve this we will browse there to, System Apps, we click. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is launched. In this case we have got to sign in. So now once we are on this page, we are required to conduct this next step which is mandatory. Therefore we mouse click on, Sign In. Presently it announces, checking info. It could from time to time get stopped at, checking info, additionally it doesn't proceed. In that case, you could attempt to log in in after a number of hours but it will surely probably be fixed. At this time we're going to type in our email and password. The email address has to be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. For example you can use the exact same email you're using at this moment in your own YouTube account. Thus I am going to submit my data and I will come back immediately after I have done it. Voila! Info inserted. Find out Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. We are going to accept them simply by clicking, I agree. Following that, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. 
you could keep it selected and it'll generate a backup of the data on this device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you do what you want. We just click on accept. The Google Play Store is launched without need to open it manually and on autopilot. To set up the app game, we are required to browse the emulated desktop by clicking on this icon indicated green colored. At this point that we are discovering the desktop of the emulator for Android, we can see that we now have there the install application button. We click on the button. On this page we have got the video game. Let's simply click there on the install link that I'm highlighting now in green. This action will commence the setup. Presently it should download on your laptop or computer and set up the game. It may take a while or it may possibly be very quick. It all depends on our internet connection. This has just finished setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on the following button that I'm highlighting in green that allows you to launch Whiteout Survival for the first time. You are presently on the emulator desktop and we're preparing to click on the brand new Whiteout Survival icon that's been provided. That video game is started for the first time. Currently there we end up with it, I could click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to comment on the sound level of this emulator. This is here, we use the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume, this way we will not depend on the windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of this emulator. And also to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we could activate the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. This one is simply the first one, we just click on that software icon that I am identifying in green. Thus the display screen is maximized, coming with one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. Granted that we would like to appreciate the application in full screen, we mouse click on this particular icon. And thus we would probably at present be enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen function. To leave the complete screen setting, press the F11 key. And we'd at present be in standard display screen mode. At this point, I am choosing to reveal you the computer keys mapping and that is actually surprisingly exciting. This way we will be capable to play the game application a lot more easily. The first thing is to click this keyboard icon. And right now there you will be able to complete the recommended adjustments. I can leave the default configuration, though if you like to improve that, you can do it without any problem. As you can observe, the emulator is entirely in our language. In certain cases it occurs that the emulator is presented in the improper language, for example, in Chinese. And thus to set it up in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. So here throughout many other configurations, we click the language drop down. We can easily choose the language we want, English, Mandarin, etc. As soon as the language is decided, we would save, the emulator would restart, and the game application, next time we run it, will of course be in the opted for language. At this time, there's another thing that we have to take into account, and this is that we will get an email saying that a new machine has been connected with our own Google account. It will check with us if we are the ones who have connected that electronic device. Indeed, we ought not be troubled, as the emulator is simulating an Android electronic device. So you can find which electronic device is currently being emulated, we visit here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. Be sure to browse here to the, model, option. And now we realize that the emulator is acting as a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for my video user demo. I believe you appreciated it, specifically that you found it useful. If that is so, offer it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe to our channel, and I will be happy to answer your feedback, questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment area down below. Simply click on any of those instructional videos that happens to be showing up on the screen and see you in the next videos. Bye.